They call it the MSI GP76 Leopard, a 17 inch powerful workstation for the creative professional. Perhaps you're somebody who doesn't have the luxury of a dedicated workstation PC build. You're somebody who needs a big screen with a lot of power and it still needs to be portable. And though this is a 17 inch laptop, just over one inch thick and just under seven pounds, it still leads to an on the go lifestyle. Now, you may wanna carry it around briefcase style or find a custom backpack to fit it in because it is a rather, rather, rather large laptop, but overall it is still a mobile workstation and that's the beauty of this laptop. Now, the benchmarks will be coming up here in just a minute, but first and foremost, let's get into the build quality and usability of this laptop. The top cover is aluminum, the keyboard deck is aluminum, and the side panels are aluminum. It's very easy to open and close with one hand. And one thing I also noticed was that for a 17 inch laptop, the screen flex was pretty minimal. Now there is screen flex, no doubt, but being that this is a massive screen, this aluminum top cover really helps the screen not wobble as much. I've seen 14 inch laptops with far worse screen flex than this here. It does have a webcam. And while we're talking about the screen, how is the color gamut range? It's actually pretty impressive. I've seen 17 inch laptops really step it up with color accurate screens. And regarding the audio, here is a quick sample of the audio test for you. Now, one thing I will say that slightly disappoints me on this laptop is we have this massive keyboard deck. The keys are placed, you know, pretty far away from the top of the keyboard deck. And then you have this rather small trackpad here. I, I really wasn't impressed with how small this trackpad was, to be totally honest. I, they could have grown it by a good inch by inch easily by moving up this keyboard deck a little bit. So that would be one point where I'm not super stoked about the design, um, but overall the keyboard is great. It has the Steel Series RGB keyboard. It's quiet. It's got good snappy key press. You have a ton of function keys for all of your needs. So overall, besides this small trackpad, this is a great setup. And here's a quick audio sample of me typing on the keyboard and using the trackpad. Now, one thing I always like to point out is the edges of the laptop. And there's a little bit of an edge that catches here, but overall the top of the keyboard deck has a very smooth transition for that aluminum keyboard deck. And then because of these you know, fancy vents, you got some sharp edges that come into play around here on the backside, but overall nothing that feels like bad build quality. Everything seems put together very well. And then as you can see, you have these massive vents along the bottom here, uh, exposing the heat pipes, the two fans, um, just a really good setup. And this keeps the laptop very cool and it actually runs very quiet. Okay, so let's talk about the fan noise and the thermals really quickly. The fans did not get above 45 decibels during the 4K export. Absolutely incredible. And at that decibel limit, I was seeing below 65 degrees Celsius during the entire 4K export. These results make this laptop the coolest high-performance laptop I've reviewed on my channel. Not even the MacBook Pro was as cool. Now, the MacBook Pro was quiet with that new M1 chip, but it was not as cool as this laptop. 17-inch laptop that really packs a punch. This is gonna be a high consideration for you. However, regarding the ports, that's one area that I'm slightly disappointed with this laptop. You do have a USB Type-A headphones phone jack, Kensington lock, as well as a power port, HDMI, network jack, mini display port, and then two USB type A's on this side. But this laptop is absent of any USB type C, which is slightly, dis well, not slightly, it's actually very disappointing being that that's become basically the standard for most laptops to come with at least one USB type C port. So with that in mind, that's one area that could lead you away from this laptop. But once you see the performance, I think you may reconsider, you may not, that might be essential to you. Now, before we jump into the performance, one area I wanna mention is the battery life. This laptop did not get the best battery life, either web browsing, productivity tasks, in Photoshop or Premiere Pro. And with you bringing this charger block along with you in order to make sure you can stay working, it's rather big. It's 280 watts for the charger block. So this whole package weighs well over eight pounds when you you know get everything bundled in together. So that's one area that might lean you away from this laptop. But like I said, with the cool, quiet performance, the, you know, there's pros and cons with every laptop and that's one of the cons that we are seeing. 
All right, let's jump into the performance without further ado. First and foremost, we're looking at Cinebench R20 coming in just behind the latest Ryzen processors for R20 multi-core and all R23. Starting the starting in the performance, let's take a look at the simulated benchmarks. Moving on to 3D modeling in Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, this laptop is really stepping it up. Moving on to After Effects, it made a great score, not the best for the standard After Effects benchmark. However, when you move into the After Effects render benchmarks, it sags second place on my charts. For video editing with the latest i7 11800H and RTX 3070 GPU, this laptop was really showing off from 1080p all the way up to 6K video editing. And of course, 4K playback was not a problem. We saw a little bit of struggles with red footage, which is very common that I've seen in laptops, but B-RAW, it handled like a champ. For the Puget Systems Photoshop test, it came in second place. This laptop does have 32 gigs of RAM in it, so keep that in mind. A lot of the laptops you see here on this chart only have 16, so it is benefiting from the extra RAM that it is configured with. If you're somebody who finds themselves on the go, needs a 17 inch laptop, needs the power of a you know desktop workstation, but just doesn't have the opportunity to have that, this is a fantastic buy. It runs cool, it runs quiet, it has great performance, it has solid color accuracy. Now the battery life is so-so, so you're gonna have to bring that charger block along with you. But overall, besides the battery life and the smaller trackpad, I would recommend this laptop. So there it is, the GP76 Leopard. Links if you're ready to make a purchase. Likes if this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next video.